other girls. Looks like you can still get 407C dry units. Who makes this one? Guardian. Guardian. 407C dry unit, huh? It has one pound of 407C in it. Comes with one pound in it? Yeah. Straight AC, no heat pump, cool. Yep. So you can still get them? Oh yeah, in stock. No kidding? Yeah. What tonnages are you stocking? Three to five. Gravy. Dry the dryers down inside the unit there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, there it is. The liquid line dryers in the unit. Uh, over here. Require more than 50 pounds of refrigerant. Uh, starting in 2022, that particular application would have to be using a refrigerant below 150. All right, stationary air conditioning effective January 1, 2023. There would be a ban. on new AC systems using refrigerants greater than 750 GWP. This will eliminate most commercially available refrigerants, including 410A, that has a GWP of 1924. Supermarkets are scrambling with what they're gonna do. I like the propaganda, oh, yeah, those are coming to the parts house, those are good. Don't be a one gauge tech, yeah, well. I am. Never had an issue. That's my take on that. I use one set for since 2008. I think I only have two manifolds. And I use them on everything. Ah. Lock myself in. Probably just thinking, what the heck did I just watch? <laughs> I went to... Uh, I like a refrigerant update class last night and you could see the California Air Resources Board, CARB, is up to their shenanigans again. So by 2023, they want to replace a replacement refrigerant for stationary air conditioning is what I showed in that one video clip. By 2023, that doesn't have a global warming potential of more than 750. And as you can hear the instructor on the on the class, they don't have anything for that right now that's not flammable. So it wouldn't meet ratings in the United States with our fire codes and building codes and such. So I don't know how they're gonna pull that one off. There was also a, a clip under it for, I think, 2022 or 24 for refrigeration units, more than 50 pounds. Have to have a... A global warming potential of less than 150 so they're either going it's all gonna go ammonia or something but hey don't worry about it just wait and see what the OEMs do and whatever they put in their equipment is what we'll stock on our trucks that's the way I did it back in the late 80s early 90s when it all switched um, you don't have to get carried away with all these crazy blended interim refrigerants just wait for the OEMs, whatever they're putting in their gear is what you put on your van, you'll be fine. And we'll see how it goes. So all these customers with R410A air conditioners, still within our careers that went through all the R22, ah, oh, you gotta switch to 410. <laughs> they're gonna get it again when uh, they're not gonna have the 410. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun times. All right, you guys, like, subscribe. And I'll try and, uh, man, I've been so busy. I just, I've actually been too busy not wanting to film, to be honest. Um, I know a lot of the filming is repeat stuff. And uh, trying not to do too much repeat stuff. I, we got some stuff in the pipeline. If, if it comes through, we'll get some videos. It'll be good. We'll see how it works out. All right. Check you later. Like, subscribe.